Good morning, good morning, FLC. How are we doing today? I know that, that there may not be a lot of people in here, and there may be a lot of you watching online, but how are we doing today? We want to make sure that this is a time of interaction, and it is for you. I know it says FOC Kids, so this is definitely for the kids, but it's also for you parents. It's also for you adults. So I'm going to ask you guys, like Pastor Lynn said, open your ears. Let's, let's take a second. Let's click them on. Let's click your ears on. And we're going to open our hearts because I feel like the Lord wants to deposit something today. So our message today, okay, the title is, It's Time to Take Action. Can you guys repeat after me? It's time to take action. Okay, so speaking of time, what do you guys think are some objects that measure time? I want to give you guys the first one. I want you guys to tell me what this is. It is a watch. So if you are a child in here today, I want you guys to outvoice the adults in here. You think you can do that? Reagan, you think you could do that? Oh, yeah, I think you can. And I think you can, too, online. So this is a watch. Okay, let's go to the next slide. What is this? It is a clock. Good job, because, you know, we're, we're trying to teach you. We're trying to be engaging. And kids, if you're with your parents or your guardian online, make sure you type it in there, because we want to hear from you, too. All right. Does anybody know what this is? Okay. It's an hourglass. This is what it is. Do any of you guys have one of these in your homes? If you do, raise your hand. Well, this one's mine, so I'm going to raise my hand. And if you're watching online, you could just type it in, in the chat. So it's an hourglass. So an hourglass, it's kind of outdated technology. We don't really use this much to tell time other than like games, right? They're like cranium or what, Pictionary. So what this does, it tells you how much time is allotted for an activity, right? So when you have an hourglass, it limits the time. So it tells the players that they have to draw or guess in a certain amount of time. So how many of you guys like sports? I love sports. So let's think of, there's a way that like professional and collegiate basketball how they monitor their time. I'm going to show you, but before I show you, can I ask you guys, if you see a countdown, because we're going to show you what a shot clock is, can you guys participate in that? Woo! Let's have some fun today in the presence of the Lord. Will you guys help me in participating in that and making learning about Jesus fun today? All right, let's see what a shot clock is. shot clock so this keeps the team from holding on to the ball and slowing down the game because sometimes they like to just dribble around and try to keep the ball away from their opponents so the same goes for for football as well so as soon as like the play whistle is 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 dead they start the clock and give the offense a limited amount of time to continue plays right shot clocks hourglasses and timers they're all flexible so they all end right they keep moving, even though, like, I know for me, I want to stop right now and take a break because it's a little bit warm, and, and like, I want to be able to breathe. So there's no turning back the shot clock or flipping the hourglass over. We play, we finish, and then the game moves on, right? Basketball and football, you know, they're going to try to make the most of their time when they have the ball. They don't want to waste it because they want to win the game. And that goes for, like, their practices, too. They want to make the most of their time. So in life, there's no shot clock. There's really not much of an hourglass. Isn't that crazy? So the point of this lesson today that I want to teach you guys, especially kids and us as adults, is that it is so important that we use our time. That's a key word. Our time wisely. We, you know, so often can spend it worrying about things. We can often spend it with distractions. We can also spend our time maybe playing too many video games or on our phones or our tablets. But how, can I ask you guys something? When you hear the word time, especially you kids, or if you think about, oh, what time is it? 
Let that be a reminder that I need to spend some time with Jesus, that I need to thank him for how good he is, that I just need to pause, even though time will continue going on, I need to pause and acknowledge the Lord. So, excuse me, in Colossians 4, 5, it says, walk in wisdom toward outsiders. This is like people who don't believe in Jesus. Make the best use of our time because we only have so much time and God wants us to do the best that we can to make his name known. So don't waste this precious gift that he has given us. Let's take time. Let's say, take time. Let's take time to tell people about Jesus and have fun learning in his presence. So repeat after me. We're going to go back to our, our um, title for the message. So repeat after me, okay? It's time to take action. So today, Pastor Kyle is going to talk to us about faith and action. And we know that that's a process, and we know that that takes time. So let's use our time wisely today. Does that sound cool? All right, I'm going to ask everyone to stand up. And if you're watching online, I'm going to ask you just to get your hearts ready for worship, just to be in that posture of hearing and receiving from the Lord, because he wants to deposit something today. He wants to make the best use of our time. So let's pray. Father, I just thank you so much for this precious gift of time that you have allowed us to learn about today. I thank you that you have shifted our mind to make sure that we pay attention, that we use our time wisely because we are gifted with this precious, precious thing called time. And we wanna make sure that the non-believers, that the people are strayed away, that they see Jesus in us. So today, we open our hearts We set an expectation because we know that you are going to show out and show off. And we welcome you here today. So as we open our hearts, we are excited for this worship and this word that you have gifted us today. And we ask all of this to be done in Jesus, Jesus' mighty name.